And we are back with another No Money Spent episode, and this one is already starting out pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. So you guys can see, we already are at 304k. Now, I do obviously have some players that I'm still gonna be selling back from XP. I'm gonna say this right away, I did take a fat L yesterday. I keep telling you guys this, never to open packs at MT. I keep trying to test my luck, so every time we get a really good pull in a free pack, I basically spend half of that MT trying to pull something else in an actual pack, and it's really dumb, so don't do that. I'm gonna just say that straight up, do not do that. But, one thing I will say, is I actually went through and found out that there's some hidden value in this game with a lot of different stuff. So right away, you guys are gonna see in my auction outcome here, there's a ton of badges that I was actually able to sell last night for a pretty good amounts of MT. Now, all I'm gonna say is right now is, you know, I really think that this is a good time to sell badges and stuff like that. And then we do have Carl Malone, which I did end up buying for the jazz sets and stuff like that. Um, but I do actually think that as of right now, selling badges really isn't that bad of a decision. The reason why is earlier on in the year, I mean, I know badges have value and that's really, really where I like to take advantage of it. The reason why is because most of the time, you know, when I'm going in unlimited, like these guys, even though they're not entirely badged up, like I'm still gonna be able to win. You know what I mean? So I'm not really worried about badging these guys up. And as the year goes on, a lot of different players are gonna have those badges. You know, I could probably look to pick some up with those badges badges and everything like that so I'm not really you know I'm not really looking into you know keeping all these different badges especially when they do have tons of value like that so right away you know making a good amount of MT to start this episode is a great start but also you guys can see in my unopened packs we do actually have two Gus Gerards two more diamond Gus Gerards that I am able to keep now first things first what I'm going to tell you guys is I'm going to try to talk to some people in 2K and actually see if I can potentially give away one of these Gus Gerards. I mean, I don't know if they'll let me do it, but I think that'll be pretty cool if I am actually able to give away one of these cards to you guys. If you guys are interested in that, just comment a W down below. And again, I will try my hardest to see if they will let me do it. Probably not, but you know what? You never know. Um, but yeah, I was actually able to get them last night. I was doing a bunch of XP and by a bunch, I mean a few things here in the primetime two set. I did the Bogdanovich threes. I did the Karis LeVert assists and I did the Jason Richardson dunks. I was just hanging out on discord. So I figured why not grind some XP while I was there. I also ended up getting 11 out of the 15 steals for Stefan Marbury. This one's a little bit more of a pain. Um, but we're getting our way there. But yeah, I was doing it in triple that offline. We did actually end up going nine and one. We did end up losing a game. The game I lost is a little annoying, I'm not gonna lie, but there's not really much you could do about it. The kid, literally, I'm not even joking, hit so many contested shots, not even funny, but it is all good. Uh, also, yesterday, I was playing the draft mode on stream, where you guys are gonna see that I actually, I did go 9-1, I did take a loss. Even though we did lose a game, though, I'm not gonna lie, we still are doing pretty well. We have 26 picks, and we're gonna be playing our final game later today that is gonna give us, obviously, another chance at Glenn Robinson and really hope that we can get him. He's a really good card, and I really do want him. Uh, we haven't really played any Unlimited or anything like that. Uh, triple that we are 60 game or 50 games away from David Thompson. We're slowly chipping away, just doing our thing. Like I said, I'm only playing that when I'm doing XP and it really does kind of work out. So today we are going to be playing this pickup challenge again to get ourselves this standard league pack. We're going to be finishing our draft run and, um, I think, well, yeah, we are about to hit level 34. So let's just go ahead and get that out the way. Daily challenge here. I was really hoping one of these I was going to be able to do. Like, I know the craft to shoot thing is like this. And uh, I was kind of hoping it was 150 because now we're going to literally be 50 XP short. So I'm going to just kind of, you know, do these all together or something. Because we could probably, yeah, we'll be able to do the, these three really easily. So let's get into the rest of this episode here. As always, though, if you guys do enjoy, kill the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying the series and want the series to continue. Let's get it going. There actually is a locker code too. I literally was about to just, you know, go ahead and just start streaming and everything like that. Actually, there is one more video I'm going to be recording for today. You guys are probably going to be seeing this today. Today is uh, September 22nd. So yeah, you guys should be seeing this today. Uh, I don't really see there being a reason not to. I mean, you guys are literally going crazy on every single episode. And again, I really do appreciate you guys for that. Again, I know it's the beginning of the year. I know, you know, a little bit things are going to be slower, but you guys literally, again, the support has been absolutely unreal. I mean, we've gained over 600 subs in like a week and a half of this game being out, which is absolutely incredible. So again, I just want to say thank you guys for that. We're going to try to drop this on the side and just really hope that it keeps going down the side. No. Okay. We do not want to get reset. Just get past that green. Please just get past the green. Stop getting reset. Just get past the green. Oh my God, we actually might be able to get this pack. 
We might actually be able to get this pack here. Please don't screw me. Nice. Yeah, that's just... Okay, that's that's really awesome. That's just fantastic. Thank you for the good morning troll from 2K. We are back, so let's go. Draft mode. Final game here. I don't even really remember who is on this team, but if you guys remember, if you guys were in the stream last night and you guys were watching, you know, the entire run of really what was going on last night, um, so what actually ended up happening was, is my controller started dying like it was bad like so my wire was busted for a long time but it actually still charged but like like it charged to an extent you know what i mean like it, it literally only charged to the point where like if i had it bent a certain way or whatever and it eventually got stuck and it worked right so then i was playing all day everything was fine i was in a draft and i was in a game i was winning 40 to 7 and then my controller died and obviously when your controller dies, it pauses the game. So the game ended up getting paused and I actually almost ended up losing because I uh, was trying to, you know, charge my controller, which if I ended up losing that game, I'm not going to lie. That would have been, uh, that would have been very, very bad. So good start right there. Knocking down a wide open three. I was going to say, if you want to quit, I'm all for it, but it's all good. Apparently his camera was messed up. So it's all good. I'm going to get my subs in because I know my bench is a little bit better. We have Gary Payton and we have Duncan Robinson off the bench. So I'm going to hope that we can, uh, I'm going to hope we can pick up a nice, you know, quick little win right here. I'm actually, oh, I forgot, you know, I started running something else. I started running Duncan with the bench unit because we do need some offense off the bench. You know, we can't have, can't have everybody in the starting five. That's like the biggest mistake people make. That is just a really, really bad way to start. I'm not going to lie. That my God, look at my man go, bro. Phil Chenier, Chenier, whatever his name is, bro. It's popping off for me. Give me that. That just went right at your face, bro. I'm over here giving you compliments. They're just throwing the ball at you. And my man Darius Miles had to step up, but that's all good. It's all good, man. Come on, let's get let's get it going. Go Scott Skiles in the corner. Good green bean. Let's go. 12 to 2. Let's go. We just got to keep this pushing, man. Hopefully, we can get a quick little rage quit. I need somebody to be able to jump in front of that. Like, my man is just chucking up half-court passes. All right, good defense. Let's go. Stick with him. Duncan, I'm stuck. I'm here. Let's go. Way to fight over the screen. Come on. It wasn't even a screen. We just literally got stuck. Oh, don't. Here we go with the timeouts. So we're in the game. Obviously, you guys can see we do have a really good lead here. And, yeah, my guy is just not going to quit. I've been kind of just messing around in the second half. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of excited because after this game, obviously, you guys know we do have another opportunity for pink diamond glenn robinson which i am really really hoping for i mean you know I, like this is going to be our third time you know going through the first two times we went 10 and 0 this time we're going to be going 10 and 1 like it's just like it's one of those situations where like i feel like this has to be it you know what i mean like this has to be the time where we do get um where we do actually end up getting the uh, pink diamond Glenn Robinson. I mean, I know a lot of people have gotten him already. I feel like I'm one of the only people that have yet to get him. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but I did actually want to bring this up in this video because somebody asked me the other day if I have any tips <laughs> for draft mode. And, uh, you know, especially when it comes to making your lineup or whatever, you know, somebody asked me for lineup advice. You, I can't really give you lineup advice because it's like, you know, you don't really get to pick your players like you do, but it's like, it's, you know, you're kind of limited. So I mean, obviously, you know, to me, I, my play style, right? Like I pick players that are good shooters that I know have good releases. So those are the players I'm going to try to, you know, take advantage of when drafting and stuff like that. But uh, one thing I will say though, is when playing draft mode, I mean, a lot of it is just about pulling people down and, you know, getting different situations to be open and whatnot. Like right there, right? Like obviously that was Giannis in the corner, but you know, even if I had the base set KD, like that would be a really good shot. Again, it is at the end of the game, so it doesn't even matter anyway. Um, but, you know, overall, like I said, just a good tip for when you guys are playing draft mode. Just try to still play the same offense you would, you know, versus you're in like unlimited and stuff like that. But the only other thing I would say is like paint defense is strongly OP in this. So if you're going to play this, I highly recommend that you do try to attack the, you know, on the wings a little bit more. I'm just kind of curious to see if Giannis can actually knock down a three or not. I don't know what his three ball is. Um... But yeah, like a lot of the, you know, in the paint stuff, it's going to, you're going to end up missing and it's just, it's just not that good. But uh, yeah, nice little 30 point plus win here. I mean, again, I don't even know what it capped off at. Again, I'm just doing whatever at this point. Just kind of hoping we get through this game. I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, not bad. Let's see. Can Giannis, why, why, why are you on me, bro? It's a Giannis three. 
Hey, look at Iggy. I want Iguadala. Look at my man Iggy with the last minute green. I literally tried to get out of this press like 10 minutes ago and it's still just not working. Like I, I keep forgetting that you have to go to the full court set to do it as well. Always got to end the, end the uh, not the video, end the gameplay on an Iguadala three. Let's go. There's no way Giannis' three balls are 70. If, it, if that base set Giannis is a 73, that is actually insane. And then I feel stupid for not shooting with him in previous games. Because if it's a 70, that is really greenable. I'm actually going to check it out really quick. Uh, let's see. Giannis, Giannis, where are you at? Where are you at? Giannis is three balls. Yeah, that's a 70. Yeah, that's a 70. <laughs> All right. Well, we pick up our final one. So now it is time, man. Can we go ahead and get ourselves Glenn Robinson, man? Ascension board, 31 picks, I believe, right? We should get... Yes, yeah, so we get 31 picks again, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we get 100 MT plus our pick back. I like that. I like, you know, I like seeing when you get stuff and you get your pick back. We're moving up. Now, the last time I did this, okay, the last time I had my Ascension board, the chat saw it, you guys in the video saw it, people on Twitter saw it, it was brutal. I'm not gonna lie. We went through these boards and it took forever for us to get off of this board. Okay, we get a Sapphire player pack, but that is not what we want. This is the spot that actually leveled us up last time, and it is not the same spot now. So that might be a problem. Okay, we get two-time double token or whatever. That's fine. Please just get me off this board, bro. Please. I do not want to be stuck on this board like I was last time. Oh, my God. Please do not do this to me again. We wasted so many picks. Let's go. Okay, 27 picks, man. Last time we got to the final board, we had 18. Okay, we had 18 picks. This time we are going with 27. The first time we did it, we had 31. So, or no, I lied. Oh, I think the first time we did it, we had 28. Yeah, we had 28. Not, yeah, because the, the, the first board, oddly enough, was the one we screwed up on. But come on. Top board here, Tag. Give me some W's. Wish me luck, man. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to base this. Normally, I pick what I want, right? You know, sometimes the chat picks, right? I'm going to do this based on where I've seen people. I've been studying, bro. Like, y'all don't understand. I have been studying where this Glenn Robinson is for people. Because I need to know, man. So, first spot in the middle, not the move, right? Next one is going to be right here. Boom. Okay. Again, not the same spot as so I, you know, from other people that I have seen. I have seen it in this spot. Not the same for me. Got it. Okay. We're going to go all the way to the left here. 300 MT. All the way to the right. I will take a diamond shoe pack, but no, we don't want that. Boom, right here. That's a token. We do not want that. Okay, so it has been in none of the spots that I have seen. Now, I'm not... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to we're gonna do... I will take that. A diamond consumable pack, that works. I'm not going to lie. I saw my man JD Crossover. He hit me with a strategy, bro. I watched one of his videos. He hit me with a strat. He, he does a big X right through the middle, and he ended up getting him, so I expect the same result. We already got a good start with a ruby player pack and a diamond consumable pack, but I expect the same thing here. We get 1,200 MT, which is cool. A diamond shoe boost pack. Okay, not bad. Come on. You get 200 MT chat. I see you guys putting numbers, but hold on. We got we to gotta try something new first, okay? Like I said, I seen my man JD do it. I'm going to try the same thing, okay? So we're getting tokens. We're getting some MT. Just please let me see this, bro. I need, like, we're down to 13 picks right now. Like, please, bro. Please don't do this to me. Come on. Okay, 350. Oh, my God, bro. Please. Oh, my God. We're down to 10 picks. Okay, come on. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, that's 2,000 MT. I will take that. Okay, we have nine picks remaining. Okay, I'm gonna, I, like I said, I'm gonna keep doing my man JD does. That's three tokens. He got him, bro. Give it to me. What is going on? Oh, we have seven picks, man. Seven picks. All right, let me hit the corners, bro. I'll hit the corners really quick. 250 MT. We get 250 MT. We get 200 MT. We get two tokens. Oh my God. Okay. Somebody's saying to do top and bottom. That's one token. Oh my God. This is not going to happen again. We get, oh my God. We have one pick. We have one more pick, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. I just don't even know what to say, man. I really don't, bro. I really don't know what to say. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right here. 
Please be Glenn, bro. Please be Glenn. Oh my god. Why, bro? Why can I not get Glenn? Why? Why can I never get this Glenn, bro? Everybody spam up Fs in the chat, bro. Why? So these are all the rewards that we did get, though. I mean, we actually got a good amount of stuff. I can't really be too, too mad. We do have a Deluxe League Pack Award, which is really good. I just like, oh my god, bro. I can't stand it. Uh, I did forget to say this, too, before. Um, I did actually end up doing, um, I opened up the Shoe Boost Pack that I did get from, I believe it was Triple Dare. Yeah, it was Triple Dare Online. Uh, and I actually got another plus four to the block, which is cool. We get a Sapphire player. It's going to be Alonzo Morning. That's actually not bad. I'll take that. Uh, I don't know why I thought that was for draft. Somebody used Alonzo Morning against me, and he was actually really good in that draft mode. So pretty cool there. We're going to get a Diamond Shoe. It is some PEGs. Okay, I'll take that. Not bad. Oh, we actually get something a little bit extra here, which is going to be another gold boost. And it's gold boost to the three. That is always good. Please let this be a diamond contract, man. Diamond contracts are what we need to see. And it's going to be another shoe, which is all right. I'll take I'll take shoes. All right, so we have a diamond boost, and then we do have a ruby player pack. Like I said, the rewards aren't that bad. We do You still get a ton of token. And let's go. I will take that. I will actually take that. You know what? Never mind. It is fine. It is fine. It is all good. It is all good. Another boost to the threes works for me. Ruby player though to end this off of and we are gonna get Steve Smith, which I already do have so That'll be a little bit of extra MT going back to me, but let's go man That is our second boost for the threes So we have two boosts to three or plus four to the threes Which is really good and it looks like the price of these actually went back up, which is really good They were going for around 12k yesterday when I checked the price so, I mean, if these go back up, that's not bad at all. The lowest one I'm seeing is 15K. I mean, I might actually look to sell one of them. Uh, I'm not going to lie. All right, so 13K. Oh, no. See, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they go back down a little bit. Yeah, so we're going to keep them. I do have a strat, though, that I'm going to be using for the plus three, the plus four, uh, the driving dunk one, the close shot, and probably help defense IQ. I'm going to go, throw, go ahead and throw those on a specific player, which you guys will probably see, as well as probably this clutch shooter badge. Try to add an extra Hall of Fame badge to this player. Uh, maybe it does end up selling for more. But yeah, not bad. I just, I, I don't know why, bro. I, I just, I, it literally, it feels like I'm the only person in this world that can't get Glenn. Like, literally. Like, no matter what I do, I just, I can't get Glenn. We keep going on, you know, run after run after run, and I just can't get it. Like, we literally have went through three boards now of trip, or not of trip, of the draft, and gotten to the top one every single time with tons of picks and still just can't manage to get anything it, it is really really unfortunate but so we actually get a w badge in our badge pack being bronze clamps which is really good but also there is a brand new locker code that we are going to go ahead and punch in here uh it actually like it's kind of weird but uh yeah i mean it's like by the name of it at least it uh it sounds like it could potentially be a good one it is going to be for some free I'm assuming like diamond consumables, diamond shoes, stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and punch them in now. We will see what we get, man. We will see. So this is the locker code. Feel free to pause the video. Go ahead and punch it in. We are going to go ahead and punch it in right now. Let's see. It is for a diamond shoe pack, a diamond contract pack, and a diamond shoe boost pack. And there's a token wheel spin in the middle, which is really good. I will gladly take that. Now we do want the light... I don't even know why I talk, bro. I don't know why I say anything. I really don't. We get a free token, which is cool. And then we're going to go ahead and get a diamond shoe pack. Cool. I will take it. I really wanted that diamond contract, but it's cool. We probably could have had a better drop anyway, but I did really want to go ahead and uh, just get that token wheel spin. One thing I will say too, is we did pick up another Gus Gerard, which is kind of funny. We went through another thing of triple threat online. Our record is now 58 and 6. I, I It's kind of, you know, every run I go through now, I feel like I win 9 out of the 10 games. So, I mean, if it stays like that, it's whatever. I'm okay with it. I mean, really not that big of a deal. Uh, but we did make it to the top. We got a diamond shoe boost again, which actually ended up being another... Or no, I'm sorry. It was a stamina boost. No colossal packs, but Gus Gerard was on our boards and we did a, or we were able to get another one, which is really cool. So now we have three extra ones here. We are officially two cards away from Channing Fry. I really thought we'd get him in this video, but apparently not. I am probably going to scoop up DeRozan and Nash to get their XP done if they are buy nows. I haven't really even looked, um, which I guess we can just go ahead and do now. But after everything has sold, we sold back Marbury. We're almost at 400 
thousand MT, man. 400K MT on the no money spent account. Absolutely insane. Everything we've been doing obviously has been done on stream. So, you know, if you guys want to know, man, this is the way to do it. So Nash is not a buy now, which kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Really wanted him to be a buy now. All right, let's check DeMar DeRozan. We might even wait a couple days. All right. Oh, okay. I, I'm, I'm like, like, bro, no joke. I'm buying that anyway. I don't know if that's a snipe or not, but I will take it. Uh, I actually kind of want to see if that was a snipe. I mean, I, I was going to say I doubt it because there's a, bun a bunch of them up that are ending at 100K, but I will gladly take that, actually. I'm not going to lie. I will I will very much take that. So, DeMar DeRozan, welcome to the team. 